Well, one week after it happened, we are hearing from a witness of an officer involved shooting. Jessica Gill caught up with a man who says he had a clear line of vision that night and watched as the incident unfolded. It's something he'll never forget, he says. I was sitting there watching, I turned around, I thought the phone rang. I turned around, I just stepped inside one step, and I still had the door open, and pow, 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 pow. And I turned around like this, and he was down. Tony Ayala lives just west of Sports Car Garage. That's where Omaha police officer Alvin Lugod shot and killed Daniel Elrod one week ago following a robbery at a nearby family dollar store. I knew nothing about the robbery. I just assumed he was probably trying to strip cars or something. Got right. caught before he got over the fence. Ayala says from his vantage point, he had a pretty good view of this situation. Says he could even make out most of what Elrod was saying to police. Go ahead and shoot me. I don't care. I, I, uh, I've heard someone saying that he was claiming that he, he was saying he was unarmed. I never heard anything like that out of his mouth. Did you hear him say he had a gun? No. Ayala admits it was a scene he couldn't tear his eyes from, even after the shooting took place. I mean, I sat up watching all the different cruisers and detectives coming and going and walking all around till probably 3 or 4 o'clock. Then right after that, just two cruisers just sat there and stood guard the rest of the night. And really? Another one was there all day long. He says he's not going to speculate on what should have happened, just says it's a shame it did happen. I reached out to the county attorney earlier today. I'm told the grand jury will be meeting next Monday on the 9th, but it is still unclear as to whether this officer involved shooting will be laid before it then. Reporting live with producer Roger Hamer, I'm Jessica Gill, WOWT 6 News. Officer Alvin Lugod remains on paid administrative leave. And that is department policy.